Okay, so we have 10 minutes left. I'm going to go ahead and just jump jump to, to, to this. So I'm going to use the XLOOKUP. I'll say equals to XLOOKUP. XLOOKUP tab. The formula takes in a lookup value, takes in a lookup array, and then the return array. So generally, when you think of an array, you can think of it as something like a column. So the lookup value is simply one value. We're essentially going to look up this year. We're looking up this year, comma, within what array? We're looking up this year within the exchange rate table. So we can reference the exchange. Remember we created the exchange rate and then we named it or uh, turned it into a table. So our lookup array is the exchange rate exchange rate table but the year column within the exchange rate table so we're essentially saying look up this year within this year column in the exchange rate table right after you found the year comma return the appropriate amount in this case the amount we want to return is also within the exchange rate exchange rates exchange rates but this time not the year, but the dollar to Naira. That's what we want to return. We want to return the dollar to Naira. And we close this. So what this formula has done now is it has gone into this exchange rate table. And for each year, it has returned the appropriate or the equivalent dollar to Naira exchange rates, like so, right? For each year. 2017, these were the dollar rates in 2017, like so. Now, how do we now turn this into the actual fuel price in dollars? It's simply the division of this fuel price by this dollar rate. So before the X lookup, I will simply reference the fuel price, right? Divided by this X lookup. That's what I'm doing. So fuel price divided by dollar rate should give me fuel price in dollars. I hope that's not too complicated, but you can always rewatch this. I'll press enter and look at that. 129 Naira was 50 cents thereabouts in 2016, right? In 2017, this was 50 cents, 72 cents, right? Um, yeah, so essentially a liter of fuel is less than a cent. I mean, a dollar. Um, and that, and of course you can format this, right? You can change it to, why can't I do that? For some reason it's not allowing me to modify the zeros, um, but you can always do that in Power Query. Okay, so we're running out of time. Um, and I want to believe that we have covered Okay, so aggregations and calculations. The last thing is pivots. I'll quickly show you that. So now you've created your structured table. You can always turn it into a pivot table if you want to. So uh, from your table design over here, you can go to summarize with pivot table here. Yeah? Summarize a pivot table, create it into a new sheet. Press okay, All right? Maybe you want to show the, uh, the states. You want to show the yearly amounts, the average, fuel price in Naira over the years, right, per state, the average, and dropping your fuel price in Naira here. By default, it's showing me the sum. I don't want the sum, I want the average, average fuel price. So I change this field value settings into average and press OK. Now I can see the average price, right, per state in Naira over the years. Um, yeah, so that's how to change to pivot. And um, that's it for this short tutorial on Excel pivot tables. And this um, data set will be shared and, and the agenda as well, along with the video. And yeah, to conclude, I just wanted to say that we run um, a data analytics class or masterclass online. Our 12 week 
Data Bootcamp Online is your opportunity to become a world-class skilled data professional, gain a certification, and transition into new jobs, or at the very least, begin applying those skills to your already existing function. Subscribe to Resigratia and join us at the next Data Bootcamp today.